<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen! You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Freak Apocalypse. Last time I left off, we did a couple of the side chores we had remaining for the time being, and we got some uh, Rod's Thick Cheese Pizza, and then ended up getting bullied when we came back home, but, uh, you know, we're back home anyway. And we took a look around our room. Seems pretty typical for Coop. And now, well, we still have the whole house, I guess, to look at. And, uh... Well, yeah. I, I, want, I want to take a look around the house. And then... I, uh... We gotta talk to Grandma, because she needs help with stuff. What she needs help with exactly, well... We're gonna find out soon enough, I'm sure. This lamp has brought me a lot of comfort during scary dark walks down the hallway. I don't need to turn this on now. There's plenty of light. Hey, Lamp, got any bright ideas on how I can get a prom date? It's a framed photo of Grandma, and she's almost as excited as actual Grandma. This photo's fine right where it is. It's not the real Grandma, Coop. Don't be fooled. Grandma said it would be a good idea to take this photo in case I went missing or the paper needed something for my obituary. I see Grandma every day. No need to keep a photo of her with me. This really isn't the best way to talk to Grandma. This is where we keep all my trophies and first place medals. It's empty. This depresses me. Ah, Grandma's brave little radio. Hey there, kiddo. Playing spaceman again? Yeah, I'm gonna be an astronaut when I grow up. Well then, there are a few things that every spaceman should know first. Okay. I'm surprised they didn't have like a subtitles for that or like something pop up. And it just stopped right in the middle. I was curious to know. Let's see if it keeps changing though. I kind of like that. It also sounds like something you'd hear out of, like, Final... Oh, not Final Fantasy. Uh, Silent Hill. I don't know. It had, like, an eerie vibe to it. Good old whistle song uh, from the side nine happened to shorts. Uh, I don't know if it's used elsewhere besides the one particular short I'm thinking about, but yeah. That is a classic. That I I want I want to say that might have been one of the very first sign that happened in shorts I've seen, and that that's an old one. Like this is like when the animation was like like really old school and just like early days of internet. That Robin song was great. Okay, that one I'm not familiar with at all, but that sounded interesting.
What the hell is even going on there? Uh, as I'm recording this, I hear my dog trying to get in my room. I might as well let him in right now. I was about to say, yeah. like, I, I open the door for him and he just stares at me. And it's like, yes, come in. No? Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe so? But now he's just looking at me by my feet. He's a good boy. Alright. We're still listening to stuff here, though. You know, <laughs> I want to know where these, like, exact songs are from, like, what shorts or whatever. Uh, sadly, I don't know, but it sounded kind of funny. Well, um, he was asking, at least. He asked politely if he could. I think she said yes, so... Yay! Hey there, kiddo. Playing okay, I think that's finally it. Hey, radio, don't look now, but you have a bunch of flies plugging up your grill. It's a generic photo of some farmland, used for taking up space on walls in boring homes. If you love it so much, why don't you carry it around? I wish I lived in a place as peaceful as you look. Grandma let these candies out years ago, but no one ate them. I think they're older than me. This hard candy has become petrified candy, and I don't want to chip a tooth. Sorry, hard candy, but I've outgrown you. I'm a man. I only eat chewing tobacco and quims now. This is Grandma's coveted Shut Up Award. She won this during a debate with an echo. Don't want to ruin its fresh polish. You handsome fellow, just look at you. All you need is some sexy shaggy hair and a hat. I'd take you to prom. Holy crap! This has to be the most absurdly long printer cable in history. Looks like it goes all the way up to the attic. I should probably just see where the cable leads to rather than yank it out. Why are you so long? That's what she said. Did Does she? Does she say why? Uh... Yeah, I was wondering about this cable because it's like I thought it was just something cut off and then I'll follow it. No, it's actually going into the damn ground. I mean, hey, if you need to route whatever along the house, so be it. But holy crap. There's actually quite a few number of rooms to go in here. I'm actually worried about going to grandma's room, whatever, whatever, whatever which one it may be. I'm worried about that. These pictures always disturbed me. I don't want to describe them, because they'll give me nightmares. Ugh. I think I'll leave them where they are, or Grandma will kill me. I won't tell anyone that you're merely blank picture frames with no photos in them. Secrets. All right. Man. Let's go in this room. See what we find. Oh. It's just the bathroom. Okay. I can't wait for this shower to be fixed. I can only bathe with Axe Body Spray for so long. Just so you know, you can purchase the one million dollar DLC to remove the black censorship bar from this costume and uh, see what I'm packing down there. What'd you do today, Coop? You insulted a tub by calling it tubby? Hilarious and cool. So I li literally, he's gonna be completely naked? What, with like a black bar? Something tells me this is going to be terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I, I figured they were going to do something like where the, the bar is going to be like ridiculously tiny and sure enough. Wow. <laughs> hey, well, this is a new costume, so. All right. 
your trusty purple toilet. I'm not gonna go right now. I feel like somebody's watching me. I'm glad that you can't talk. I'd be ashamed to hear what you think of me. This bamboo plant really zens out the bathroom. Really opens up my seventh chakra. That's some swap meat quality bamboo right there. Fun fact, bamboo is used for torture by tying the victim over a bamboo shoot and letting the sprout grow, eventually cutting through their skin. Now I torture you, bamboo, with my farts. <laughs> it's a laundry hamper for grandma to do my laundry because I'm lazy and legally dependent. Guess I could wear this when I'm having a bad hair day. So, every day? Come and whisper in my ear. Give us dirty laundry. Grandma says those towels are for guests. But I touch them anyway because I'm a rebel that doesn't play by the rules. Mmm, soft. Hanging you out to dry, huh? Cabinet drawers that contain delicate hygiene products, cleaning chemicals, and expired drugs of all sorts. I don't think there's a product in here that's gonna fast forward me through the unsightly horrors of puberty. I'm not drinking you today, chemicals under the sink. Maybe next time. A completely unassuming sink. Or is that what the government wants you to think? I think I'll skip the scrubbing. Talking to a sink. Ah, when you sink to a new low. I don't know how the hell his mouth made those mysterious mysterious noises, but they sure did. It is like a little pet peeve of mine that the game does that the window will like like the person will keep talking even if it's just a sound effect, but whatever. My favorite moldy bath mat. It's squishy on my toes. Yep, squishy and moldy, just like grandma. Bath mat. You're the toupee of this bald bathroom floor. It's a toothbrush. You chew on it until your mouth stops bleeding. Nah, I like my teeth just the way they are. I'm so grateful I can chew food thanks to you, Mr. Toothbrush. It's a leaky faucet. It's been that way forever. I wonder how much water has been wasted over the years. I'm no Mr. Fix-It, so it's gonna have to remain leaky. Same reason why I can't use the shower. Hey, faucet. Thanks for all the... what? you make ah Fred rib my favorite frog tissue dispenser i used to sleep with it but grandma got suspicious when i kept running out of tissue so quickly and made me leave them in the bathroom i swear i was just crying i'll just give you a little pet on your adorable little head hey Fred rib love you buddy you talking to me are you talking to me i don't see anyone else around well then thanks for keeping me company if I get fingerprints all over this mirror, Grandma's gonna make me scrub it with my toothbrush again. Don't worry, buddy. I'm sure things are gonna start looking up for you real soon. Maybe, but considering this is a side night and happiness game... No. Highly doubt it. And we did get that shower cap. Th there you go. I guess we'll leave that on. With the wow. Well, I want to give some equal opportunity to some of these costumes here and there, but... Alright. I think that was it for the bathroom. Um, Alright, yeah. We got a couple things in there. A nice little photo of a nice little market. I don't need to keep that with me. I can practically hear the owners arguing in this photo. Look at that sweet beard. The church touched me, so it's only fair I touch it back. Maybe someday I'll grow cool facial hair like you, Jesus. Okay, I admit it, I hung up this photo myself. Why? Because nobody else cared to. If I want to touch myself, I can do it to the real me instead of this photograph. You're going to be valuable when you're a superhero responsible for saving the world. Wait, why does Grandma have a photo of a blind guy who's unzipping his pants hanging on her wall? No way. I feel gross just looking at it. He can't hear me. He's blind. Grandma likes to clip the flowers and put them in vases all over her house as a threat to the rest of her garden. These petals, so soft and delicate, like lips, two lips to be exact. Ah, I'm lonely. Such beautiful flowers for me? Oh, I love you, Coop. 
take me to prom. That's a coat closet. Nothing useful in there. No way! Last time I opened that door, a spider sack burst open with a million tiny spiderlings. They've clearly conquered that territory, so I'll let them keep it. Hello. Ah, the attic door. That's where we keep all the ghosts of our relatives. Or so I'm told. Anyone up there? Ghosts? Or flowers that happen to be in the attic? Damn it! I'm too short to reach the string. I gotta find something to hook it with if I'm ever gonna get up into the attic. Okay. So it looks like we eventually could go into the attic. Uh... Oh. Maybe, it'll f maybe this is what we need the flypaper for? Um... But before we do that, though... Let's go. I'm guessing this is Grandma's room. It, you sure? Um, I'm worried what I'm going to find in here, though. Seems really spacious in here, doesn't it? Or is that just me? But there. All right. Let's look around. This switch turns the lights on and off. Wow. There. Touched it. You're it. I made the switch from soda to water, but I'm not going to switch from light to dark. These outlets look like scared faces staring at me. You know, as much as I always wanted Doc Brown's hair, I think I'll pass on sticking my fingers in there. What'd you do today, Coop? Oh, you know, just talk to an outlet all day. It's a photo of Grandma when she was a young woman, back in the 1800s. I don't want to carry around my Grandma with me. How weird would that be? Hello, young Grandma. So what was it like to be alive before cars were invented? Grandma keeps all of her clothes in this dresser. Thanks, but I'm fine with the clothes I have. I wouldn't know how to address the dresser. They're flowers. Big deal. Buy yourself some flowers if you're that lonely. I don't need them. Where's your flower power? Just some generic framed photos to waste space on Grandma's dresser. Nope, don't want them. Sure, I'll talk to those frames. Then I'll ask them out on a date, like a real winner. There aren't any treasures in that chest, just Grandma's dental dams. I'd prefer to respect Grandma's privacy in this case. The real treasure is the lovely conversations you and I have together. That's Grandma's closet, where she keeps her liberator ramp. Ugh. No way! I have enough nightmares about what Grandma does in the bedroom as it is. No need to see what kinky crap she keeps in the closet. Some things you just can't burn from your memory. Hey, skeletons. If you're in there, I'm really, really sorry you picked Grandma's closet of all places to hide. Feel free to come out. Forever. I wonder if Sam Fisher is in there. Maybe if I get on my tippy toes. Nah. Hey, Vent. You know, speaking of Sam Fisher, not too long ago they announced that E3 is having its digital event, like online only event in June, like like, like the typical typically do. Um the thing is though, like they mentioned who's going to be there, who's not going to be there. Sony is once again not going, but yeah, they've been doing that for the past couple of years at this point. Because frankly, it just seems like E3 is going to be it's like a dying event. Uh, a lot of these companies, they're seeing that they can do their own event, whether it be like in person, like live or digital only, online, whatever. And it saves them a lot of production. It saves them like a, a lot of money, but they can show the same information that they were looking to do anyway in E3. So, I don't know. I, I just have a feeling it's not going to last super, super long. But, um, I think they mentioned that like, a couple companies like Nintendo, Microsoft are going to be there, Capcom, and I want to say Ubisoft. Or, you, or you know what? Ubisoft did mention that their little event happening, like, forward, I want to say it was called. And there was already talks about is there going to be a new Splinter Cell? 
because it's been a long time since there was like a mainline Splinter Cell game. I don't know if it was like, man, I can't, I can't remember the names. Like it was like Splinter Cell One, and then Pandora Tomorrow, Chaos Theory. Uh, then was a Double Agent, Conviction, I think Blacklist. I, I could be totally wrong. It's a series I never really got super into, but would love to get into. Um, so yeah, if they make a new one, I think that'll make people super happy. We'll have to see, though. First time I saw something green. Oh, no, I think it's because I was going over the glass. Grandma says when you're an adult, you get to legally do drugs all the time. I don't know who gave you the impression that I'm a pill popper, but I'm not. Keep Grandma alive forever, please. It'd be nice if you made her less horny, though. I worry about Grandma sometimes when I see her pills scattered around like this. I wouldn't want to mess with Grandma's special system of organizing these pills. You have two choices. Either get back in your bottles or get in my Grandma. It's some kind of fancy beauty cream made from the extract of baby seal eyes. Beauty cream. Maybe this is what I'm missing. A conversation with a jar can only go but so far. Grandma takes these out when she goes to sleep and when her dates come over. My mouth inventory is already full. It'd be funny if Grandma's dentures could speak even when they're not in her mouth. <laughs> yeah, Coop, you're hilarious and everyone will soon understand your charm. You said it, Teeth Richards. If Teeth ever did that, like dentures did that in a bottle or a glass, whatever. Uh, hell no. Like hell to the no. Like people, that's why. Like same, same thing when people say like, "Oh, I wish my pet could talk." No. Like, like maybe if there's something that allow them to speak, so you know that it's gonna happen or whatever. Cool. But if they just randomly start speaking your language out of nowhere. Yeah, I'll be afraid of my pet. Like, absolutely. But I guess that's just me. Don't get so excited. It's a potted plant, not a pot plant. It's growing healthy right where it is, so I'm gonna leave it. I'll talk to the plant when it turns into a beanstalk that lets me climb out of this awful town. Uh, knowing my grandma, I don't dare look to see what's in there. No way in hell am I going to take anything in that box with me. You stay right where you are, box, and don't ever come out. This radiator always makes loud noises that terrify me at night. No, I might catch radiation from the radiator. You're so hot. Bet you think there's a trap door under the area rug since it's wrinkled up a bit. Ha! You guessed wrong. Grandma's just messy. Nah, this rug really ties the room together. Admit it, area rug. You serve no real purpose. I mean, I would say it is random as hell to have a rug right here, but if it's meant to be decorative, cool. Maybe it ties the room together in some capacity, but I was hoping there was something under there because of how wrinkly it was, but no, it got me. It's a yarn skein which is a fancy way of saying a ball of yarn. Nope, but maybe I'll take up knitting as part of my San Angeles rehabilitation program when I'm thawed out in the year 2032. Care to spin a yarn about some urban legends? That's gonna be a lame picnic. Oh, great, an ugly knit hat. Mind if I spin some yarn with ya? I'd like to tell you the tale of the pun-making virgin if you have a moment. Okay, hold on. How just how ugly is his hat? It can't be that bad, right? Oh, it's it's pretty bad. At the same time, it looks it looks like it might be cozy. Like it'll definitely keep you warm. But yeah, sure as hell is not really pretty. I'll, I'll give you that. All right. So now that we have our very ugly but maybe cozy hat. Let's see what else we can look around here in this room. 
It's a cushy ottoman. Feels great on my bony butt. I think I'll leave it there. Wouldn't want Grandma to yell at me. You ought to man up. Got him. I don't have any back problems yet, but I am carrying around a lot of shame. Well, at least I can use this to reach stuff in high places since I'm such a tiny turd. I don't have any back problems yet, but I am carrying around a lot of shame. Well... Okay, maybe we can use that instead of the, uh... I was, I was gonna use a flypaper to see if we can get into the attic, but I guess the cane will do it. Um, you know, I gotta say, whoever does, like, the... Whoever did the audio mixing for, like, this game, I, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm terrible when it comes to audio stuff. You know, that's why I'm not in it. But this game, like, there's times where, like, it sounds fine, but then the same, like, the other, some other voice lines will sound, like, really far. Like, and I'm not sure what what's up with that. Grandma gets the drapes while I still have to use a blanket. I totally get these curtains after she dies, though. Silky smooth. And dusty, too. It's curtains for you. I thought wreaths were only for the holidays. I'll let Grandma take it down if she wants to. Hello, Wreath A. Franklin. Hope things are going well for you. It's just a little side table, but feel free to keep staring at it if it excites you that much. Thanks, but I prefer my side tables with a side of ranch. You look pretty stable. Doth my eyes deceive me? It's a lamp! A lamp! Sure, I'll just carry around this small lamp for the rest of the day. What a bright idea. Is your future so bright you have to wear shades? Mine isn't. It's a cross stitch of a heart. My heart could use some stitching too. Nope, that belongs to Grandma. So this is what a heart looks like when it's not broken. It's a cross stitch of a bird, I think. A bird with three wings. Grandma wants it there for a reason, so I'm not taking it down. Fly away, little birdie! Fly away! It's a bumblebee cross stitch. Pretty cute. No way! It might sting me! Got any honey for me? These cross stitches do look kind of nice, though. I mean, they're not perfect, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know. There's there's a cozy aspect to it. I don't know what the hell it is. Although yeah, this, I don't I don't know what's going on with this bird here. I was gonna say maybe that's like it's like underbelly, kind of like a, maybe it's like a, a patch of a different color. Maybe that's why it's like that. I don't know. Uh, excuse me. I, I think we've just completely. Wow. Well, that they just com they completely forgot to import the audio file for for this line. <laughs> hey, it happens. I mean, like, I'm surprised at the amount of, like, dialogue that's in this game. Uh, in terms of what we can look at and all that, it's it's up there. So I wouldn't be surprised that this was missed. Oh, sure, I'll just jump up there and touch it. Come on, dude, get real. Hey, fan, you're pretty cool. Pillows that don't muffle grandma's coitus moans nearly well enough. I'll sleep when I'm dead. That's what tough guys say, right? How about some pillow talk, baby? It's a bed. Humans sleep on them. Nope, I don't want to sleep in the same bed that Grandma and her incontinence did. The woods are lovely, dark, and deep, but I have promises to keep, and miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. All right. Well, I think that's everything in Grandma's room. Like, I was really thinking I was just going to find, like, a big old dildo somewhere. Like, considering how he made him, he makes his grandma seem very horny. So, well, I'm glad I didn't see that. Although, I still might see it while looking around this house. But, first, Coop 
loses 10 confidence points. Really? How come that didn't work? Oh. I better go talk to Grandma first to see what she needs help with. I'll go into the creepy attic later. Ah, uh, okay. Well, now we know how to get in there. I, mean, I was going to say I thought we needed a fly paper because I thought we were just going to attach it to it and boom. But I guess he did say he wants them to loop around it because I, I didn't see that it has like, a little hole there. Um, okay, well, I guess that takes care of the upstairs. Let's go downstairs. Here we are, near good old grandma. Uh, but there's also like the kitchen area I want to get into, so let's look at everything first, and then we'll talk to grandma. Oh, and look, there's the there's a printer, and holy crap, that that makes me upset to see that desktop with all those files, all those viruses. This is a this is a guy who's done IT work for a while, or like in some capacity is you know been in a, in a technical field seeing that hurts my brain so much maybe instead of staring longingly at these framed photos i can try interacting with a real person are you kidding me grandma will rip my dick off if i remove that from the wall i'd love to hang out with all you photos but i've got things to do Grandma always says I need an outlet for my frustration. I already learned the hard way that I shouldn't touch those. Next time I need to plug something in, I'm coming right to you, buddy. This is an electrical fire just waiting to happen. Ow! God damn it! It's good to use protection for those carnal searches. It's just a bunch of dusty old books that I have no interest in reading. The last thing I want to do is read a bunch of old romance novels. I'm sure you're good, books, but I'll wait for the movie. Maybe instead of staring longingly at these framed photos, I can try interacting with a real person. Do you carry around picture frames wherever you go? That's funny. Neither do I. I'd love to hang out with all you photos, but I've got things to do. That's a photo of my grandpa. He died before I was born. He never liked having his picture taken, so this is all we have. Uh, can't reach it, dipshit. Hi, Grandpa. Hope death's been treating you well. That's me on the beach. I look deep in thought. It's my favorite picture of me, because you can't see my whole face. I get it. I'm short. Hey there, you handsome devil. Who's going to get a date for prom this year? You are, that's who. Aw, that's Grandma. Look how happy she is. Oh, sure, I'll just... Hi, Grandma. This is Grandma's favorite bridge before it burned down. Grandma says bridges are for burning. Are you kidding me? Grandma will rip my dick off. Take me to the bridge. Yeah, ha. Get on up with your bad self. You keep your shades on indoors? I wouldn't want to ruin the platonic friendship between Lamp and I. Uh, hi there, Lamp. So, what's it like to have more friends than I do? This chair is so worn out that you can feel the springs dig into your butt when you sit on it. Maybe I'll sit down here and watch TV when I'm grandma's age. Still looking good, chair. More cushion for the pushing. Whatever that means. It's a houseplant, kept alive with sunlight, water, love, and... Oh wait, it's plastic. Aw, who's a good boy? Good plant. Sit. Stay. When the TV talks, does that help you grow? A record player. Grandma's old enough for all of her old lame stuff to become cool again. Eek! Okay, I probably shouldn't touch this. I wish you could play MP3s. Man, you know, speaking of MP3s, like, dear God, I used to... I used to, like, have my MP3 player, like, oh, man, what now? Was it, like, late, ju like, junior high and high school, whatever? Like, I used to love that MP3. And now, I swear, I don't think anybody has one. Because, I mean, frankly, our phones turn into all that. You know? Like, and, like, the whole idea of an MP3 player, or just MP3s in general, kind of went out the window when you have services now, like, Pandora, and especially Spotify, 
it's like I can I'll pay for whatever so I can have all the songs ever I want in one go without downloading whatever. Oh man, times do change, but it it is what it is, you know. It's a little side table with a how to watch TV booklet. I already know how to watch TV, but thanks for thinking I'm a total moron. You keep on being you, little table. TVs actually have antenna? I thought that was just in cartoons. I'd just make the signal worse. Come in. Are you picking up my signal? Will you get a problem with me? Over. It's a green scarf for when I want to go for that classic Hepburn look. Thanks, but my attire gets my ass kicked frequently enough as it is. No need to wear grandma stuff. Hanging you out to dry, huh? It's a bunch of family photos. Naturally, I'm not in any of them. Thanks, Grandma. Do you carry around picture frames wherever you go? That's funny. Neither do I. Better lawyer up. You've been framed. That's a photo of when a butterfly landed on me. Scared me bad enough to piss my pants. My grandma found it funny enough to commemorate forever. I can't reach it. It's still not funny, Grandma. That's a photo of Sweaty Piggles. Grandma loves that restaurant so much she has it framed in her house. She's not allowed back there, so I guess she keeps a photo for sentimental reasons. It's too high and... Man, I could totally go for an order of cheesy pretzel ham nibblers right now. Okay, how come that both sounds okay and disgusting? Like, the cheesy pretzel part, fine. Ham nibblers... I never really was a fan of, like, ham and cheese stuff, but I don't know. Also, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet today, so that, that could just be me being hungry. Why the hell is the printer cable leading up through the ceiling? Who the hell installed it? I should probably just see where the cable leads to rather than yank it out. Why are you so long? That's what she said. It's another houseplant. whoop de fucking do I'd love to be able to reach... Uh, thanks for providing me with oxygen. Ooh, pretty. I can't reach it, but if I... I'm glad there are two of you. At least you have each other to hang out with. It's the computer stool. Nice and regular. No way! It has horrible lumbar support. Get it together, stool. It's over between us! It's too late to apologize! It's an old PC with a disk drive and everything. And gave it another virus. Shit. If the government is listening in right now, please send bully seeking missiles. Grandma's moved up from her old dot matrix printer. It has plenty of paper and the ink cartridges look fine. I wonder what's wrong with it. Work, damn you, work. Uh, yeah, printers are a bane of a lot of people's existence. So I'm assuming that's like one of the things she may want help with, and that's why we need to go in the attic. Um, and going back to this whole PC being like full of viruses and whatever, as much as I hate seeing it, I also like fixing it. There, there's something uh, cathartic, like going into it and just removing all the nasty crap and like just seeing it work nicely afterwards. I don't know. It's just kind of nice. Anyway, uh, let's keep looking around the house before talking to Grandma. Let's see. Oh, where the hell does that leave? Lead. Um, eh, it's a nice little dining area. Hello, what is this, though? Fire! 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 <laughs> Can you introduce me to your matchmaker? A book of matches. Now all I gotta do is find something to light on fire. Preferably not the house. Preferably, but... You know, who knows. But, hey, another item. Cool. Now let's take a look, uh, look around and see what we got. I think it's a ghost in front of a castle, which seems like a totally appropriate photo for an old lady to have. I think it's fine hanging on the wall where it is. Picture this. Me, not talking to a picture. 
It's a photo of one of Grandma's many suitors. Ugh. I've seen Grandma licking this one from time to time, so I'd rather not put my hands on it. So, you banged Grandma, huh? Um, good for you. You might want to get checked. Hot damn! Those are some purple curtains. Prince would love these. Grandma prefers to leave the windows open so the neighbors can see all the weird shit she does. As much as I enjoy talking to fabric, I'd rather talk to somebody wearing it. You know, like a lady. Or anybody. If you want me to stare out the window and daydream all day, I could definitely do that. This version of Windows sucks. Uh, hey, Mr. Window. Thanks for keeping me connected with the horrible, horrible outside world. That's Grandma's fine china cabinet. Expensive stuff in there. No way! She'd kill me if I touched any of those. You think you're so fancy, don't you? Well, I'd rather eat off a styrofoam plate. Deal with it. These really make me nervous. They're not bolted in properly, so they're just rotating death machines dangling above our heads as far as I'm concerned. I'm short and you're a jerk. I don't know what I'm supposed to say to a ceiling fan, but here I am, talking to one. Hello, little buddy. How's it going? Grandma puts these candles out when she wants to set the mood. The mood is creepy. Always creepy. Wax on, wax off. Of my hands. Go to hell, candles! You've never granted one of my wishes when I've blown you out. Just some boxes of Grandma's old photos. Grandma has shown me the old photos in here far too many times. I don't need to see them again. Hello there, inanimate object. I'm a person trying to hold a conversation with you for some inexplicable reason. Just some neglected flowers. Sounds like a blast, but I really don't need wilted flowers at the moment. I carry around wilted confidence as it is. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to remember these flowers. They weren't just flowers. They were a family, a husband, a wife, children. Now, they have moved on and are in a better vase. Just some mail from bill collectors. They're not addressed to me, so why would I want them? How come nobody ever sends me any mail, huh? I love how nonchalant he is about, like, oh yeah, just bill collectors, just debt collection, whatever. I don't know. It's a pet peeve of mine. I like, I am one of those people that I try getting my bills paid, uh, like immediately out of the way, so I don't have to worry about it later. Now, obviously, I understand that people may not be able to afford their bills for one reason or another. Um, and that's terrible, you know, like, I, I wish things were different for a lot of people that they don't be put in that situation, but, uh, it's rough out there for so many people. Can only, can only hope for the best. I look longingly into the chair and lose 10 charisma points. Sure, I'll just sit here all goddamn day. Sounds like a blast. You're doing some charitable work. Grandma built this cabinet with her bare hands. It doesn't open. I try to open the decorative cabinet. I lose 10 intelligence points. It's okay, cabinet. I don't open up either. But to be honest, I'm really comfortable talking to you. I feel like your emptiness mirrors my own. And I too feel like I was created without any real purpose. A mere object for people to lay their shit upon. And the worst part, Cabinet, is that I know you can't understand or reciprocate these feelings. I just want to hold you in my arms and tell you it's going to be okay. Because even though we can't communicate directly, there's something deep within us that gives us comfort. An unspoken bond. Man, he actually went out for a little bit there uh, about that Cabinet, about speaking to it. And I gotta say, even though it doesn't open, I mean, it's a pretty good-looking Cabinet, in a sense. I mean, God knows I wouldn't be able to build anything like that. It's a house plant. Badass. I'm not cool enough to touch such a radical house plant. Whoa, I've never met a house plant before. Totally awesome. It's a photo of Cello Camp. I better not. I better not. Wouldn't want to show interest in it and have a bully stuff me into a cello. So, was the surgery successful? Were they able to remove that person from inside the cello? 
Grandma sometimes confuses these butter mints with her medications, which explains a lot. Gross, they're covered in dust. I'll talk to the mints when my breath isn't embarrassing as shit. Some of Grandma's many pill bottles. Thanks, but I don't need any medications for my heart, dementia, or libido. Hey, pills, you better make Grandma feel better. Grandma has some original Joel Peter Witkin photos. How provocative. Nope, don't want them. They honestly give me the creeps. I don't understand you. And honestly, I'm afraid to. Okay, I'm not even familiar with that guy he mentioned, but, uh... Part of me doesn't even want to look it up anymore, so... Uh... I guess that's it in here. The important thing being the matches that we got. Where does this lead? Oh, the garage! Okay. Uh... Interesting already. Don't know what I'm gonna find just yet or what's important, but we'll look around. Light switches. Up is on, down is off. Pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna turn the light switch off. I'm afraid of the dark. You're quite the light switch, aren't you? When the trash in the kitchen gets too stinky, I leave it here in the garage to sit for months. Then the odor gets absolutely revolting to the point where I almost pass out. Then I finally take it outside for the garbage man to collect. It's a great system. They're not quite smelly enough for me to do anything about them. Look at all that trash. Well, see, that system kind of hurts my head a little bit. Like, if they smell, why not just take it directly out to the garbage bin? Like, do you not have trash pickup every week? I Maybe it's the only thing I can understand. Like, maybe... Well, no, even then, why keep it within the house? Put it out by the curb or wherever the hell your garbage cans are at and just keep it there until they pick it up so that way your house is fine smelling. Why the hell am I getting irrationally upset about this? <laughs> My grandma's Buick. She won't let me drive it even though she doesn't drive it much anymore. I'm not allowed to drive it. Besides, I wouldn't want to mess up that vintage wood paneling. One day, you'll be all mine. This is where Grandma collects vintage TV dinners to be freezer burned. It's frozen shut. I guess that means it's working well. Maybe a little too well. I hate talking to the icebox. All I get is the cold shoulder. What a sad looking teddy bear. It's been out here a while. Probably filled with spiders. Ugh. Cheer up. At least things can't get any worse. Grandma bought me this White Knight superhero doll because when I said superhero, she thought I said super racist. My backwards hat is supposed to give a I'm too cool to play with toys vibe, even if it's not working very well. Remember when you wanted to arrest the Harlem Globetrotters? Yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, why does this particular doll look the way that it does? And sure enough. But holy crap, wait, did those people try arresting the Harlem Glo Globetrotter? You know what? No, I'm not even surprised. Dear God, some people in our society, like, I don't even know what to say. It's a handsaw for sawing hands. Nah, I'm not ready to become a lumberjack yet. Saw oh, shit, what up? That sled was always too heavy and barely moved at all in the snow. Uh, it's not even snowing outside, so why the hell would I bother? Rosebud? Is that you, old friend? It's just crap that nobody wanted from our last yard sale. And get dust all over my cool outfit? No way! Hey, Mrs. Box, does anyone ever make fun of you for your name? Hey, look, it's Hat Buddy. Will you take me to Toronto pronto? Hat Buddy, it's the new Cranium Cuddling Companion. I figured I could grab that because, once again, it like looked more vivid than the others. Um, there it is. I, you know, I thought I was talking about this type of hat not, not too long ago. I don't know if it was like to one of my friends or was it in this LP, but I swear I was talking about this thing. Huh. And also, 
It looks like we almost picked up a lot of stuff. We got like six more hats, three more faces, and six more shirts. We're kind of getting there. Ah, a shovel, also known as an industrial spoon. Sure, I'll just start digging away into the concrete floor of the garage. Fantastic idea. I kind of dig you, shovel. Call me. It's a rake. They're for raking leaves, but I prefer to use the wind instead. I'm not going to rake the yard. I have enough chores to deal with as it is. You don't need to hear my take on a rake. Looks like a pair of skis to me. Exciting. Oh no, I don't do winter sports. I don't need snow, speed, or stunts to fall on my ass. I hope the Yeti didn't eat whoever wore these last. Oh wow, yeah. What game is that? Oh, God, he used to play it all the time. Like, literally, the first PC that we got. Like, it had Windows 95 on it. Oh God. It was Ski something. Ski Freak? Ski Free? It might have been Ski Free. And yeah, that. I. I guess when I was younger, I had no idea how to play it because no matter what, that damn Yeti would just come and eat me. I guess you, you're, you are able to outrun it, but, I mean, this is me not knowing what the hell I was doing as a child, so I imagine that I wouldn't have a problem playing it now. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Like, I don't know if it's shovelware, freeware, but eh, whatever. Yeah, it's a pretty killer bike. Brittany already popped both of its tires, so it's not very fast at the moment. Loved you in Rad. Still can't believe you got to go to prom and I can't even get a date. Weird. This crib isn't the one I used as a baby. I wonder why there's an extra one. Hmm. Oh well. I touch the crib and feel an odd connection with it. Hmm. Oh well. Who do you work for, extra crib? Who? Hmm. Oh well. It's a CPR dummy. This is where I practice kissing. No time for makeup practice with you, Samantha. Sorry, baby. Can't make out right now. I'm a busy man. Got a lot of stuff to do. Oh, it's bad when you named it, man. I mean... <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Really quick. I think I just remembered another... Sign 9 happened to short revolving... Or, uh... Yeah. It was around uh, the CPR practice. It, I, what, what I like about a lot of these the cartoon, like the shorts and whatever, they always have weird ass plot twists. I mean, that's the gimmick, right? And the one for this one is pretty damn insane. So, uh, check it out. It's a CPR basics manual. All it says is never bring a CPR dummy back to life. I'll leave this here with Samantha in case she needs to know how to give CPR. Should CPR dummy become sentient, do not engage with CPR dummy. Do not make eye contact with CPR dummy. Lock yourself in a safe space and call the proper authorities immediately. It's just a speaker from an old stereo system. I guess it's a mono system now. When I get into my hipster audiophile phase, I'll be sure to dig out this old speaker. Until then, it's staying put. Speak of the devil. It's an orange water cooler, probably filled with orange water. No thanks, I get water from inside the house now, like a big boy. Your theory on the human condition doesn't hold water, my friend. It's a messenger bag, but I prefer my trusty backpack. My messenger bag hipster days are over. I moved on to my far cooler backpack phase. I've got a message for you, messenger bag. Clean yourself up, you're a messenger. <sighs> got him. God, he, he sounds so exhausted doing that. G God knows I would too, man. Just, if you, if you can't do it, just don't. You know, I don't force it. Just leave it. The vacuum suck 5,000. Yep, it sucks. It's been broken ever since Grandma accidentally vacuumed up the cord. Hey, Kirby. Hope you're enjoying retirement. It's one of those light boxes that artists use to trace. I used to practice drawing Psionic Steve on it. It's a great way to rip off somebody else's work. 
I mean, touching it would make sense if I wanted to trace my hand to make a hand turkey. I find our conversations to be very enlightening. Okay, well, conveniently enough, we have that tracing thing that we need to forge her signature, but we still need her signature. So, we'll just remember that it's in here. My psionic Steve lunchbox. I'd bring it to school every day until high school where Chet would always box me at lunch and call me box crotch. It's honestly too cool to touch. I need to put it in a plastic display case and get it graded. Hi, Steve. You make every plunge better. It's a toolbox for tools, like Kent. Do I look like a handyman? Or even handy? Or even a man? Need one more tool in your box? Call me. It's just a box of old oily rags. Fuck it. I'm super glad I reached into a box of oily rags. Now to touch my face without washing my hands, as is my understanding of teenage skincare. Box? Rag? I feel like there's a joke here somewhere. It's a pegboard for storing tools and other things I don't know how to use. I can't climb the pegboard in the gymnasium, and I can't climb this one either. I pegged you for a pegboard. I was right. It's a rainbow of screwdrivers. Nah, I've handled more than enough tools in my time. Hey, screw you! Just kidding. Unless you want to. It's a hammer. Sadly, not Thor's. It's too heavy to lift. Not because it belongs to Thor, just because I'm a bit of a pussy. <laughs> Mjolnir is way cooler than you. Wrenches for wrenching things. Nah, Grandma took away my erector set after she caught me. Never mind. Hey, sorry to hear about what happened to your family. Truly gut-wrenching. It's just a work lamp for shining a light on all the things I've never built. I'd love to be able to reach that. Work it, lamp. Work it. God, anytime I hear of the Mjolnir. <laughs> First, I remember a joke in one of the Thor movies where they kept calling it Mew Mew because they can't say the name. But I just keep thinking back to God of War. Oh, man, I'm really hoping for something great when, whenever the new one comes out. The funny thing is, is like when they officially announced or teased Ragnarok at like the Sony event, like late 2020, it said 2021, but I highly doubt we're going to see the game sometime this year. We, we have no other information about it. And as I'm recording this, it's in the middle of April. So, I mean, I, I kind of knew that was going to happen anyway, and I'm fine with it. I got so many other games to play and to get around to, so I'm cool about it, but eventually, you know, eventually. That's the button that turns the light box on and off. Welcome to Buttons 101 with Professor Coop. So, do I push your buttons? Call me. So, do I push your buttons? It's a rolled up tarp, probably used for converting this garage into a kill room. I don't need to set the garage up to be bloodproof, yet. Sometimes I wish I could roll up and hide from the world like you, tarp. It's a recycle bin. Sometimes I wish I could jump in and give my life a new purpose. I don't need to recycle anything, except my entire high school experience. Recycling makes Captain Planet proud. I really should keep these comics in my room, instead of letting the bugs in here eat them. I've already read those issues of Mega Mom. Sorry everyone, Sonic Steve issues get to come inside. You stay out here. Uh, another copy of the Orca King. He, I guess it's a good book. I, I don't know. I hate that damn garage door. It's not automatic, and Grandma's garage door opener is me. I can't lift a garage door. I barely have the strength to open a regular door. I saw you kill Tatum in Scream. Nice work. Oh, man. Yeah, that's right. There. <laughs> man. How? Scream is, like, old now, isn't it? That movie came out, like, I think it was late 90s. It wasn't even, like, a 2000s movie. I think. 
Oh man, time really does fly by. Anyway, well, I guess that's everything in here. The big thing is that the tracing apparatus is in there, and I'm sure we'll be using it eventually. And man, we still got we still got this room to go to go check the kitchen. Um, can I even go to the backyard? I can. Oh man, look, it says poop. Um, you know what? Ugh. I want to check everything, but the video is getting pretty long, and I got stuff I need to do really quick. So, I didn't realize it was going to take... It's taking me a long time to go through this the whole house, but... I'm going to go ahead and just call it an episode here. And next time, we will check out the rest of the house. Along with, hopefully this time, speaking of Grandma and taking care of the things that we need to. Uh, and take things from there. So... As usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for Let's Play uh, Freak, Freak Apocalypse. Okay, I forgot the whole name already. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.